Well, good day to you, fellow TOK teachers. I have a quick midweek TOK activity for you today, which could be used as a starter or could be a whole lesson. It's free, ready to download from the TOK Today website, link in the video description, and you can use it immediately. So, this is a development of a starter activity that I posted a couple of months ago, and this activity is designed to further familiarise students with the TOK concepts and help them to develop their skills in using those concepts in the areas of knowledge. It's designed to help them to move from real-world examples to make knowledge statements and to develop their skills in moving from their lived world to the TOK world. And finally, it's designed to develop their ability to apply the TOK concepts in a critical or evaluative way. For those of you who remember the legacy syllabi of TOK, this is the current version of developing knowledge issues. So let's jump into the lesson. This presentation is available from the TOK website as a Google slide link and as a PowerPoint link. And we start by presenting the students with the TOK concepts and we ask them to apply three of those concepts to a real-life situation arising from each of the areas of knowledge. Now I start by modelling an example from AOK Natural Sciences for the students. My real-world example is the duck-billed platypus, or Ornithorhynchus anatinus, as our more scientifically-minded friends might say. The issue with the platypus is that it didn't neatly fit into the taxonomy of life used by European scientists in the 19th century. When they sent the first platypus specimen from Australia to the Natural History Museum in London, the esteemed scientists thought it must be a hoax. And I've applied the concepts of evidence, interpretation, and objectivity to that example. I won't read through my examples because that's awfully tedious. I then give real-world examples from each of the areas of knowledge for students to work on on their own. Now some of these examples may need a little explaining to the students, but you could ask the students to do their own research on the examples. Or you could replace the examples with ones that you or your students readily understand. I've used these examples purely because they work for me in my classroom. And so we have forecasting from AOK Maths. That's fairly self-explanatory. Uh, some misrepresented knowledge from AOK -OK history. Now, these examples from AOK -OK Natural Sciences are fairly well known and are well documented if you're not familiar with them. But these examples from AOK -OK Human Sciences are two personal favourites of mine, and it would be too indulgent to go into them in this video, but they can be replaced with your own favourites if you're not familiar with these ones. And finally, examples from AOK -OK The Arts. Again, I think they're fairly self-explanatory. And there we have it, a free, easy, accessible and effective TOK resource that you can use today or tomorrow. If you found this useful or you're just feeling altruistic, then a like, subscribe, comment or share would be your apple to my Newton. In the meantime, have a great day and stay talktastic. Bye. <laughs>